Welcome to Custom Technical University and our top five tips for effective crack isolation in tile assemblies. More than ever before, tile assemblies need effective crack isolation to protect the tile, stone, and grout. In today's construction, most buildings are designed with lighter and thinner material components, while we see tile formats are growing larger or heavier. And when it comes to concrete construction, professionals will tell you there are only two kinds of concrete, concrete that's cracked and concrete that's going to crack. So let's consider our top five tips for crack isolation. Tip number one, address substrate issues before tiling. Pre-existing in-plane cracks that measure less than an eighth of an inch should be patched prior to leveling or membrane application. Use rapid setting calcium aluminum based patching products to stay on schedule. When cracks are larger, frequent, actively moving, or differential, they should be assessed by a structural engineer to determine why they occurred so your treatment will be effective. Floor settlement or excessive deflection causes should also be identified and corrected. Tip number two, plan your movement joint treatment. All structures are expected to move over time because building materials deflect. They shrink, expand, and settle. Therefore, using compressible sealants or pre-manufactured profiles are required to accommodate planned movement. The Tile Council of North America recognizes several types of movement joints. Construction joints or cold joints are included between adjoining slab pores. These pre-planned joints must be carried all the way through the tile assembly and at the same width of the joint. Engineered joints, also called control joints, are placed after the slab has been poured. They're designed to induce cracking in a planned pattern during the concrete cycle, but they also can become active moving joints. Static, engineered joints and small in-plane cracks can be relocated to line up with the tile edges. Use an appropriate crack isolation membrane based on TCNA Detail F125 for partial coverage. Full coverage treatment per Detail F125 can also be specified and this will protect against future in-plane cracking. For criteria on installing movement joints in the field and at the perimeters of the assembly, consult TCNA Detail EJ171. Tip number three, choose the right membrane for the job. All of Custom's crack isolation membranes meet or exceed ANSI 118.12, and they protect tile from in-plane substrate movement for at least an eighth of an inch. These membranes protect against future cracking, and most can be used to relocate existing in-plane joints. Sheet-applied crack isolation membranes are installed using primers, adhesives, or mortar, so they offer a lot of versatility. Plan your installation accordingly as substrate and environmental conditions can determine which products to use or they affect drying and cure times. For concrete with high moisture content or single layer wood frame plywood floors, an uncoupling mat membrane provides the best solution. RedGuard uncoupling mat is adhered with polymer modified mortar for a strong bond to the tile and the substrate. So when exposed to substrate movement, the mat absorbs stresses and keeps the assembly intact. Commercial projects with heavy traffic and point loading require membrane with an extra heavy duty rating. For these applications, use Crackbuster Pro crack prevention mat underlayment, a self-bonding fabric reinforced mat that elongates to handle up to 3 8 of an inch in movement. In multi-story residential construction, impact sound reduction may be necessary in addition to crack isolation. Easy mat tile and stone underlayment with sound guard technology will reduce the sound of impacts like footsteps on tile. And it also protects against in-plane movement up to a quarter of an inch. Three thicknesses are available based on the building sound requirements in either a peel and stick or thin set mortar option. When sound reduction is required along with a heavy duty rating, use Crackbuster Pro. Tip number four, know when to use liquid applied membranes. Liquid crack isolation membranes provide simple monolithic coverage, and they're typically faster to apply compared to other membranes, but drying time is dependent on job site conditions. RedGuard waterproofing and crack prevention membrane is an extremely versatile liquid applied solution. RedGuard isolates cracks up to an eighth of an inch. It can be installed over concrete slabs with 85% relative humidity and offers an extra heavy service rating. When applied in two coats, RedGuard liquid membrane also meets ANSI 118.10 to waterproof the tile assembly. 
For an option that combines fabric and liquid components, use 9240 waterproofing and anti-fracture membrane. Tip number five, use a deformable mortar. To enhance the longevity of any project, install tile with an S1 deformable mortar. These mortars are highly polymer modified to maintain a protective level of flexibility in the assembly even after curing. This is especially important for above ground installations which are subject to increased movement. Choose an ANSI A118.15 high performance mortar such as Flexbond Premium Crack Prevention Mortar. There are many demanding installations with large heavy tile, natural stone, exterior, or submerged applications for these projects, select Megalite Ultimate Crack Prevention Large Format Tile Mortar. The use of crack isolation membranes will protect your installation and increase the life expectancy of your tile project. When used as part of a qualifying system, these membranes are eligible for up to a lifetime system warranty from Custom. If you'd like to know more about crack isolation or how custom products can help protect your next project, please visit our website, custombuildingproducts.com, or give us a call. And be sure to like our video, share it, and subscribe for the latest tips on tile installation. Thanks again for joining us at Custom Technical University. We'll see you in our next edition of Custom's Top 5 Tips.